guys in this video I'm going to show you how to do shift test calculation plot a particle size distribution curve and determine the hydraulic conductivity so we have a question here on sieve analysis so I'm going to use this question to show you how to do that 1a the result of sieve analysis test on a soil is shown below as you can see we have a table here the data for the sieve size is given and also the data for the well retained in gram is given 1b plot the grading curve or report result quantitatively 1c we are asked to find the hydraulic conductivity given the average grain size coefficient as 100 and the weight of the sample as 350 gram. So without further ado, let's get started. In order to plot a grading curve, which is question 1b, we have to compute the value for cumulative passing, because we are going to plot the graph of uh, y axis cumulative passing against sieve size in millimeters. So we have to compute the values for the cumulative passing in this column. So first, you're going to create a table with the following columns sieve size in millimeters, weight retained in grams percentage weight retained, cumulative weight retained, and cumulative passing. So next, we're going to enter the values given to us in the question above for the sieve size. Well, 2.8. So as you can see here, we have the values given to us in the equation in micrometers or micron. But we are supposed to enter all the values in millimeters. So we're going to convert 710. If you don't know how to convert micrometers to millimeters, just go to the description box below. You will see a video on how to convert from micrometers to millimeters. I've already done a video on that. So let's uh, proceed and just simply enter the values for the millimeter conversion 0 0.71. 500 is 0 0.5. 300 is 0 0.3. The last is the pan. So the pan is at the bottom of the set of sieve stuck together. It collects the, the particles for the last sieve. So we are simply going to write down pan. So next, we're going to enter the values for the weight retained in gram, as given in the question above. So we have zero, 35.0, 0. 12.0. So now we are going to compute the values for the percentage weight retained. So in order to compute the values for the percentage weight retained, we are going to use this formula. 
as any weight retained is equal to weight retained in gram, which is days, over the total of weight retained in gram. So we're going to quickly uh, sum up all the values for the passenger weight retained in gram to get a total here. So we have zero point, sorry, zero plus 35. plus square. So the total is 385. So let's enter the total here. So we have so having find a total, we're going to find the uh, weight retained for each cell. So to get this, we are going to apply the formula, which is zero divided by the total weight retained, which is 385 times 100. So if you divide zero by 285, you have zero. Zero times 100 is zero. So we have zero. The same thing here, we're going to divide 35 by 385, multiply by 100, Thirty-five divided by three eight five times hundred. We have nine point zero nine. So we're going to. Do the same thing for the rest. So in order to save time, let's simply uh, enter the, the value for the rest. So we have uh, 76 divided by, uh, by 385 times 100 is equal to 19.7. Same for 98 divided by 385 multiplied by 100, we have 25.45. Sure. So if you add up all these values in the passenger weight retained, you're going to get 100. So the next, we're going to find the cumulative weight retained. Let's clean up our display. So in order to find the cumulative weight retained, first, we're going to write in our the first value for the passenger weight retained, which is zero in the cell. So we have zero. So next, in order to find the next uh, value for this, uh, that's the cell below this, we're going to add zero plus 9.09. .09. Which is 9.09. .09.
So if you notice uh, the pattern, as we added this zero to, to 9.09, .09, we got this. The same thing, if we add 9.09 .09 to this, we're going to get the next value. So let's add 9.09 .09 to 19.74. plus 19.74. Seven four. So we have twenty eight point eight three. Twenty eight point eight three. So to get the rest of the values for the accumulated while well retained in percentage, we are going to do the same thing. So, in order to save time, I'm going to simply enter the values here uh, for the rest. So, uh, 28 uh, plus 25.45. Uh, 3.18 to 3.12, you're going to get 100. So as you can see, this is uh, the same as the sum of our uh, percentage away retained, 100, 100. So next, we're going to find cumulative passing. In order to find cumulative passing, we are going to use this formula, the simple formula, cumulative passing equals the total wage retained in percentage minus the corresponding value for the cumulative uh, wage retained. So uh, this is the total wage uh, retained we retain in percentage, which is uh, 100. 100. So we are simply going to subtract each of these uh, values uh, for the cumulative we retain in percentage from 100 to get a corresponding cumulative passing. Or for this cell, we have 100, which is a total uh, percentage weight retained, minus zero, we have 100. So we're going to put in zero, uh, 100 here. The next cell, we have 100 minus 9.09. .09. Ninety point 
So we're going to do the same thing for the rest in order to save time. So uh, simply enter the values for the rest. We have a for 28, uh, 0.83 subtract from 100 is 71. 0.17 1, 2 and lastly 100 minus 100 is 0 so this is the the calculation for the C analysis so in the next video i'm going to show you how to plot the particle size distribution curve which is going to be the cumulative passing in percentage y axis against the sieve size x axis in millimeters thereafter i will show you how to extrapolate the hydraulic connectivity from the particle size distribution curve. So guys, please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, also give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Bye.